back to my channel. If it's your first time, hey, what's up? And thank you for stopping by today. Uh, so today is going to be a sewing tutorial. I'm going to be showing you how I made this skirt. <laughs> I'm not going to overdo it. How I made this skirt. Uh, it's a pleated skirt with a um, tool underneath. I actually make two skirts. Uh, I use uh, Ankara fabric as usual. <laughs> Anchor fabric and uh, I put um, tool underneath because I want it to be big, dramatic and whatever in the spirit of Christmas and New Year's Eve because uh, everybody who knows me knows that I love drama I like you know what I mean <laughs> anyway so like I was saying I actually made two skirts I made this one and another one of the one that I'm gonna be showing you as well but um the tutorial is gonna be just gonna be for this one but I basically use the same method for the other one okay so I tried to make the tutorial as easy and simple as possible but if you have questions I, I'd be happy to answer them just comment or message me as you want uh, so in advance I want to wish you a Merry Christmas I want to wish you a Happy New Year and like I always say a shower of blessing for you and your family and um, yeah hopefully you'll still be here next year keep following me keep watching my videos <laughs> anyway um so if you like this tutorial please make sure to share rate like comment whatever dance on it i don't know and if you try to use if you try to make the same skirt or use my tutorial please make sure to tag me in so until next time stay blessed bye bye So I started by cutting off my fabric to the length that I wanted. Uh, I made the, the skirt, the anchor fabric shorter than the two. So I didn't cut the two. And uh, yes. Next what I did is that I cut uh, the waistband. The measurement of your waistband are basically your, the measurement of your waist plus two centimeters for a seam allowance and wide as you want it. For this first part, you're going to have to put your sewing machine on the biggest uh, stitches and the biggest length as well. I put mine on 4, which is the maximum. And uh, you're going to have to sew two straight lines across the top of your fabric. I did just one but because I'm used to, but uh, I would definitely recommend to do two just by, uh, for security. So next you're gonna go ahead and pull the bottom thread to achieve the gathering. Uh, this is about uh, you have to be careful. I would say take your time because you don't want to pull too hard. Because if you break the thread, you're gonna have to start over again. Everything I did, I'm doing here, I did the exact same steps with the two um, to achieve the gathering. And it should look something like this. Okay, once everything is done, you just lay everything on the floor. I lay my fabric wrong face, wrong side facing on the floor. The tool is supposed to be inside, remember? And I'm gonna connect the, the Ankara, the tool, and the waistband. What you're gonna have to do, I think it's easier if I just let you watch, because you're gonna have to connect it from the inside. The tool is inside. It's easier if you just watch what I'm doing. So you should end up with something like this. Remember, it's anchor fabric, tool, and then a waistband on top. But this is the wrong side once again. So when you turn it, it should look something like this. So now I'm just going to go ahead and uh, sew the fabric to the waistband. Once this is done, I'm going to connect my skirt and add the zipper in the back, like so. And then once that is done, I'm going to be able to cover the waistband on the fabric and it should look like something like this. Once 
Once the zipper is installed, all you have to do is cover it with the waistband like so. And then uh, once it's done, uh, uh, you just gonna have to sew along uh, the waistband and it should look something like this. When everything is done, all you have to do is hem the bottom and cut the two fabric to your desired length and you're done. Thanks again for watching this tutorial. I hope it was helpful for you. Please make sure to like, rate, comment and subscribe to my channel for more tutorials. Bye bye!